Hello, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Sharon, aka the Melon Nostalgic Runner, and we are back again for another Get Fit With Me series presents accountability. And I know I have not been consistent as far as posting every Monday for this. It's been more like every other Monday. And I think for the time being, that will be the schedule because I am um, also doing reviews for Royal Housewives of Orange County. Um, so if you're also into those reviews, definitely check that out. But without further ado, let me just get into how things are going when it comes to my training. So for those who are, have not been aware, and I, I feel bad, and this is kind of the other reason I was like, let's post every other week. Um, my training is not going originally how I planned it out at the beginning of this year. Um, I'm still on the training. It just isn't where I wanted to be exactly. But we're still working through it. And um, one of the main reasons why is my ankle still is not happy with me. So I actually am giving, getting an MRI next Friday to see what's really good. Um, but in the meantime, I am going to continue training. I'm just going to do it in a way where I don't make anything anything else worse. Um, so <laughs> that's kind of what's going on with that. I actually do have a triathlon this weekend. I've done every, every since um, April, because April's the only time where I didn't do a race that I signed up for. I've done a race or I've done an event that I've, um, you know, signed up for. So that is going well. Um, I am running between three to four times a week. I would like it to be four to five, but three to four is better than nothing. And I have been going to the gym again. So we're back at that. Um, I'm actually going to be going to the gym either today or tomorrow. Um, and I've also added my long bike rides in there too as a form of cross training, just because when it comes to the distance, as far as my training is concerned, um, I'm not really on track of that. I, <laughs> and you know, I kind of haven't been on track a little bit out of fear, but a little bit, I mean, mostly out of fear. I was, I am and was kind of concerned at the beginning, um, especially since I didn't, prior to the x-ray, I wasn't sure if my running was making my ankle worse. Um, and it's not, but it's also, I don't know. I'm not sure how things are going to go. Um, for those who are not aware, I actually did some, when I twisted my ankle back in April, I, my, my cartilage, I, I damaged my cartilage. Um, that is around my ankle. Um, <laughs> And according to, you know, the doctor, sports doctor I saw, it's not going to get worse, but it's probably not going to get better either. And <clears throat> even if I was to stop running, it probably wouldn't because it's cartilage. And cartilage is one of those things, once you damage it, it's kind of just there. So that's kind of the only, that's, that's, that's the unknowns, which is why I'm going to get the x-ray, not the x-ray, but the MRI to see if there's anything else that may be underlining that I'm not aware of because the ankle still just has not felt right. It has not been right since I did what I did. Um, so that's kind of what's going on there. Um, anyway, so besides that though, my cycling's gotten better. Um, I've been walking a lot more. I feel a lot more healthier. I'm starting to feel the way I used to feel before. Um, my mindset is starting to go back to the way it was pre-pandemic. Um, I've been out and about more, so socially I'm doing better. Um, so this is like kind of a, ch a check-in on where, where we're at with everything. Um, and... Let me tell you a little bit more about how the social life's been going because that's been interesting and I've had some revelations and some things are going to change. And I think they're positive things are going to change and I think it's going to help me get to my overall goal when it comes to my running and my health and wellness because for those who have not figured out, that's what how this channel started and then I've added more things to the channel. But health and wellness is like my priority when it comes to like my own health. Um, and the health of others. That's kind of my main concern. So the other things are just kind of like, you know, bonuses or whatever. But um, I'll go on. Let's get into that a little bit. So 
I did a run recently and the run was awesome. Uh, there was a pride run that was at, <laughs> it actually was at a um, cocktail bar um, in the neighborhood that I've been wanting to go to and I just haven't went to because it's actually not that close to where I, I mean, it's close, but I'm passing other places to go to this place. And, but you know what? I went, and I'm so glad I went, um, because this bar is a um, Black-owned bar on the north side of the city, a Black queer-owned bar, so I felt all kinds of seen um, in the best way possible. So it was kind of, it was a very positive environment. And we did a 5K run, um, so we just, I'm, so I met a whole bunch of random people I've never met before, but a whole bunch of people that look like me, and it just felt awesome. Uh, I'm glad I went to it. Uh, I actually, the route was pretty much a route that I normally do because we end up running <laughs> on, on the Lakeshore Path. And, you know, I live right there. So, I mean, that was kind of fun. And then afterwards, I kind of hung out and mingled for a little bit. And then I was home by 10 o'clock. So, it was, it was a good time. It was very, very nice. And... Um, I enjoyed it a lot, met a lot of new people, and um, if anything, I think that's going to help me do more of that, because that's one of the things I used to do when I first moved to the city. I used to just join, whole, do a whole bunch of just different meetup groups and meet different people and just, you know, I may or may not ever see you again, that's fine, and just keep it pushing, and it was always fitness-based, though, so we're going to continue that. Um, the other revelation that I kind of came up with and I've been thinking about it, it's been heavy on my mind for really since I got back from Puerto Rico. Um, and <laughs> the fact that my running is just not, I've not bounced back from injury at all. Um, and this isn't even the bounce back for like the injury that just happened this year. I got, I was actually, I, it's been two years I mean, it's going on another year. I've had two years of like just things, you know? And then the year before that, I had, it's, it just seems like there's just been a lot of things that's happened that's prevented me from performing to the best of my ability when it comes to running. And it's kind of, it's kind of mentally kind of getting at me a little bit. I'll be honest. Like, and I've been very open and honest with a lot of my friends about it and, that's been helpful because, you know, they've given me positive light, positive energy. But <laughs> it's also helped me realize who are not my friends. And um, that's okay, too. Um, and one of the things that I think has been the elf in the room for me for a while is how often I go out. Um, and then when, do, when I do go out, am I overdoing it or not? Um, I feel like if I was in a healthier state, as far as my running and weight is concerned, I wouldn't be thinking about all this as much, but because I'm not, I'm thinking about it all. And for me, having a good time, having drinks, these type of things, if I have to think this hard about it, I don't want to do it. <laughs> like, that's where I'm at with it. Similar to how I've been feeling even when it comes like dating. If it feels like that much of an effort, no thank you. <laughs> I'm just not interested. So I am doing a couple of things this year. One I came up with earlier, like probably about two weeks ago, jokingly saying it, but I started saying it out loud, so it's just gonna be a thing. Um, so yeah. I'm going to be celibate. <laughs> I think I'm done. Like, I think I'm just cool on dating and all that for a little bit. I just want to focus on me. Um, as much as I like the idea of companionship, I'm really not interested. I really just want to work on myself and be selfish. I mean, that's, I'm just keeping it real. I want to be selfish right now. And so therefore I'm going to do that. <laughs> you know, um, I have my cats, so I'm not completely selfish. I have my friends, and and those who are my friends are my friends, and that doesn't change, but it just changes the other things. I just don't want to add new things to anything. 
So I'm not sure about meeting new friends if that's really going to be a thing. If it happens, it's going to be organically. I'm not doing anything that feels forced. And that even includes people who are in my life who, you know, I feel like I have to force a conversation. We're not doing that. Either, uh, and, and actually, I kind of did that this week a little bit. Um, I'll be honest. Um, if they watch, they watch. If not, whatever. So one of the things this week that I did was there was someone who I've hung out with a couple of times last year and I just noticed the energy changed and I've been noticed it for a while and I did something that was a little bit uncharacteristic for me. Normally I would just approach and say, Hey, what's up? And I actually did try to do that a couple of times and I just was getting these answers like, oh, everything's fine. Even though I could read a freaking room, like I'm not dumb. Um, and <laughs> one of my pet peeves, and I keep it, I kept it in my head mentally, is I don't like when I feel like I'm being played, I don't like when I feel like you're playing in my face. If I could tell your energy's off, your energy's off. You know, if it's me, say it. If it's not, say it. And I also feel a way when I have to approach someone for them to give me that answer. That right there was already the flag I needed right there. I'm already approaching you. I shouldn't have to do that. You should just say what's going on. Um, I know that's not how everyone works, but that's how I work. <laughs> and honestly, um, at this point, because again, I'm on my selfish bag these, this year and I'm just straight up saying it. I'm on the take care of me bag. I'm taking care of me first and everyone else can be taken care of afterwards. Um, if I just feel something's off, I'm going to say it. Um, but this time I held off and I said it at the wrong time. And that's what will happen with me. If I hold off, it, it's not going to come at the right time. And it didn't. And they weren't happy about it. But you know what? I felt bad, but at the same time, I was like, hey, at least that elephant's no longer in the room. <laughs> like, I at least now know what it is. And now I don't have to waste any more time. Because i rather just you say what it is, and I don't have to waste any more time. Like, and I felt bad, too, because that person felt like they were hurting my feelings by saying what they are saying to me. And I'm like... No. Rip the damn band-aid off. I'm sorry. And maybe I maybe I'm just that kind of person. I'd rather you just say what it is so I could keep it moving. I could keep it pushing. The way I don't really, unless you're like my close, close friend and we have been friends for years, there's history. And even then, depending on the situation, the way I could cut people off, it's not that hard. And maybe that's my Aries. Maybe that's me just being an Aries. I, I'm just a queen of keeping it moving. I can keep it pushing. And it sounds depressing or whatever, but my whole thing that I've been saying for years, and I mean it when I say it, life is a series of moments and moments pass. And that does include people. Sometimes a person in your life will be there for a season or for a reason. And after that, thing can keep it pushing. And I don't feel a way about it. I'm not going to, you know, it just is what it is. But so that was the other thing that kind of happened this week. And it also kind of led to my other conclusion is that um, I think, <laughs> actually, I don't think I know. So I'm not going to go out this weekend. And next weekend is probably going to be the last time I go out for a while. And then I'm going to take a month off and detox. I did detox last year. And when I detox last year, I lost 10 pounds. So we're going to detox after next weekend until I go uh, until September. So for a month. And then November, I'm going to detox again. And honestly, after that, we'll see. I might, I think I might just go sober, like completely. I'm kind of just over the going out. I'm over it. 
Like, I enjoyed the social stuff that I did this week, but at the same time, I think really, I think about it, I'm like, I could have did that sober. It wouldn't have affected, it wouldn't have changed how I would have done things. Like, at all, really. <laughs> like, there, it, it still would have been the same thing. Um, yeah, so... I think that's going to be the next step of things I do, but I do have a triathlon on that this weekend. And after that, then I'm going to go back to being blonde um, and go from there. But yeah, that's kind of the update of things that are going on. I have um, a trip planned pretty soon. I'm excited about that. And yeah, I'm just going to continue doing what I've been doing. Um, working. Oh, other mental health check. So work. Because, you know, life is about a lot of things, right? Work. Work has been great. Um, I love my new job. I'm actually glad that things happened the way they did <laughs> because I do love my new job and I just have so much less stress. I am a much happier person these days for that alone. Um, so yeah, there's that. Lastly, so um, spirituality. Spirituality, we're doing well these days. I think I'm in a much better headspace. Um, as far as how things are when it comes to the rest of the world, child, I'm from the United States. In the United States of these Americas, the world's a mess, and we know that. But I try not to overly focus too much on the world, because otherwise I would be a very depressed person. <laughs> I mean, I'm just going to keep it real. But um, when it comes to that, I'm, that's one of those things I just compartmentalize. I don't know if anyone else is like that, but that's one of the things I definitely do, compartmentalize. Um, even the thing that we heard recently about another person passing away, being at home and dying untimely, like... I hate that I'm numb to it, but I'm numb to it because the media just like continues to push it. But I'm not going to let it get to me. I'm going to keep it pushing. I'm going to keep moving forward. And yeah, um, Cloud Strike happened. That was wild, but I got an impromptu day off. Um, yeah, I, I guess I'll say that. We're, we're doing okay over here. Like... Um, we're continuing the health and wellness, but we're trying to do all aspects of health and wellness. I think for most of my mid, mid to late 20s and 30s, I focused so hard on the physical. I did not focus enough nearly on resting, um, spirituality, uh, <laughs> professional. I didn't focus on all the aspects that can lead to stress or, you know, happiness. And I think now I've been focusing a lot more on trying to make sure everything is balanced out and trying to do it right. Like I don't want to push myself like I did in my 20s and even early 30s because um, for one, <laughs> it's not a competition. And I think for the longest I kind of went on that kind of thing thinking everything's a competition and it's not. So because I'm now aware and, well, more aware than ever, I think I was always aware, but I think a lot of my pushing myself had to do with me being so concerned about me going back to old habits of, you know, drinking too much and eating too much and not exercising anymore. I think I was so concerned and worried that those things would happen, not thinking back my mind that... I've been in this health and wellness journey and been consistent about it for like almost, for like 15 years. I think I got it, you know? <laughs> you know, it's getting to the point where it's most of my adult life, I've been doing the right thing. Um, that, that little speck of doing things wrong, that was a speck compared to the rest of my life. And... I think I need to be mindful of that and give myself flowers for that. And hopefully those who are listening to this message, I know all of this, I'm saying me, 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 me. But hopefully when you 
watch this video, if you watch this video, you can take stuff out of it and just, you know, get some, have some takeaways from it. But anyway, yeah, that concludes the check-in. I know this is a little longer than usual, but I figured I'll give you extra size one since I haven't done this for a couple weeks. Um, some programming updates. I probably won't be doing, this is probably going to be every other week again, because also too, I'm going to be filming a lot more besides the Real Housewives um, of Orange County, the Olympics. Um, the opening ceremony is actually today, <laughs> the end of the day today. So I'm going to be covering the track and field stuff. Um, not too much. I'll probably just, well, yeah, I think I'm only going to cover the finals. Um, just because I feel like that will be annoying for a lot of people. <laughs> so I'll just cover the finals and kind of go into who's there and all that good stuff. I know when I came to the Olympic trials, the U.S. Olympic trials went more into it. But because I am an avid track and field watcher, I could really get a little, I could get so on my nerdy bag if I went all in when it came to the semifinals, the heats and all that. And I think that'll be too much. And also too, I don't have that kind of time to be covering it like that. And I kind of also want to watch it for, for my own enjoyment. So there's that. But anyway, that does conclude the video. Please like, comment, subscribe to the channel if you get anything out of the content. It's your girl Sharon, aka The Mel Nostalgic Runner. And I will see you next time. Bye.